gets a bad rap. People say the middle of nowhere as if it's some kind of insult. But when times get bad, and let's admit it, times have been rather bad recently, <laughs> there's nothing I like more than thumbing a ride to nowhere. Nowhere's close, maybe even closer than you think. And while things aren't perfect there, they're certainly better in nowhere than they are here. In nowhere, they have just laws and an enlightened system of government. In nowhere, they work to live rather than living to work. Words like solidarity and community are more than just aspirations. In nowhere, no child goes hungry. At times in Noah's history, the people have chosen to live simply. They take seriously the adage that technology is a wonderful servant, but a terrible master. They prefer to have fewer things to take care of and more free time for leisure, friendship, art, and learning. Now these days, it is true, nowhere is decades, probably centuries ahead of us technologically. But they implement new discoveries carefully so that they benefit everyone and not just a privileged minority. Now, if nowhere is beginning to sound familiar, you may know it by one of its other names, utopia. Utopia is a word that was coined by the British writer Sir Thomas More in his 1516 book of that title. More knew something about bad times. His boss was Henry VIII. <laughs> you know, that king who liked to execute his ministers for a good time and had more bad marriages than all the Kardashians put together? <laughs> that was Moore's boss. But I digress. Moore derived the word utopia from the Greek. He took the Greek suffix eu, meaning no or not, and combined it with the word topos, or place. But utopia is also a pun on the Greek uh, suffix ou, or good, and topos. Utopia, in other words, is the good place that is no place. Or, in a more idiomatic English, the good place that is nowhere. The dream of utopia has inspired brilliant works of literature, bold innovations in political philosophy, and many real-world communitarian experiments. Because the point of traveling to nowhere is not just to escape from a debased present. Rather, traveling to nowhere can help us gauge the distance between the way things are and the way that they ought to be. Reading and thinking about nowhere can even inspire us to make the society in which we live a little more like the utopia of our dreams. As that esteemed 20th century utopian philosopher uh, John Lennon said, a dream you dream alone is just a dream, but a dream we dream together is reality. He also said, I am the egg man, cuckoo ca too. So <laughs> you have to take these things with a grain of salt. <laughs> Nevertheless, with hope, commitment, and an open mind, nowhere can even become here now. Thank you. Mm -hmm.